<laughs> what are you arranging for us there? Okay, I'm going to make sure we have the right. We're just going to say that this person's 100 kilos, because that makes everything it makes easy. so much easier. Okay. Easy. I'm going to put my nose in for there. Okay. A rat. That, that, that. Section. And we're back. Okay. Okay. Starting from the top. All right. I'm coming in. <laughs> okay, go. Okay. Coming in, making sure that I have my mask. I have my uh, breathing circuit. It's connected with two uh, filters. My end title is on. It's also connected. I have a reservoir bag right here. I have an Ambu bag with a mask. And I have suction. Um, we're going to turn it on, make sure it's working. Shh. And then for Sam Tide, also my suction, it's on, it's working, and it's within reach. Uh, my airway. I have two large scope blades with both lights working. I have an ET tube with a stylet. And I'm going to make sure that it holds pressure. Holds pressure. I have two OPAs, I have two varying sizes, 100 and a 90, and I have a tongue blade. Machine, I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to make sure my flows are off. My vaporizers are off. Uh, I'm, my APL is open. I'm going to fill my bellows. Come on. Awesome. And I'm in bag mode. And then I'm going to make sure that my circuit holds pressure. Yeah. I'm going to make sure that this holds pressure. And it is holding, it's not dropping. I'm going to open my APL back up and the air comes out. Perfect. So that's my machine for monitors. Uh, my monitors are on. Um, I'm setting parameters, setting alarms. Those all look good. Um, I have my EKG leads, I have my pulse ox, and I have a blood pressure cuff. For tape, I have my E222 tape. And then I have tape for the eyes as well. I'm just going to put two pieces there on the mask so I don't forget. Perfect. And then uh, I have two IV poles with clamps for the drapes. I put the IV in in pre-op so I know it's working and there's fluids running uh, for drugs. So my induction drugs, I have Versed, two milligrams. It's one in one, one milligram and one ml, I have two mLs. And then for fentanyl, it's 50 mics per ml. I have two mLs, 100 mics. Lidocaine is 20 milligrams per ml. I have 100 milligrams, uh, five mLs. Propofol is 10 milligrams per ml. I have 200 milligrams, 20 mLs. Rocuronium is 10 milligrams per ml. I have six mLs, 60 milligrams of rupture. And then on my back table, I would have my apples. So I'd have atropine, uh, 0.4 milligrams for one dose. I'd have phenylephrine, um, a stick of phenylephrine, being 100 mics per mL, I'd have 10 mLs. Um, for L, I'd have lidocaine, the same dose. Uh, for my E's, I'd have ephedrine, which would be five milligrams per mL. I'd have a total of 50 milligrams in 10 mLs. Epinephrine. I'd have 10 mics per ml, 10 mls total. And then um, for S, I'd have succinicoline. That's also 20 milligrams per ml. I'd have a total of 200 milligrams. And that's my backup. Um, and then everything else. So for this patient, they're having a lap coli. So I'd make sure that I have an OG tube for them. I have a bear hugger and a nerve stimulator. Perfect. And the patient's coming over. The patient's coming over. They're scooting over by themselves. As they're scooting over, I'm going to give them two milligrams of Versed. As they're getting comfortable, I'm going to turn on my oxygen at five liters per minute and pre-oxygenate them for at least three minutes. 
I'm going to encourage them to take deep breaths. This mask is on very lightly um, and just giving them a big chin. Their face should be up towards the ceiling and they're breathing. And while they're doing that, I'd have someone else try and hold this mask just in place while I put my monitoring equipment on. So I'd put my blood pressure cup on first, a cycle of blood pressure, put my EKG leads on and my pulse socks on. Um, and while this, we're getting fresh vital signs, I'm going to go ahead and give my fentanyl my lidocaine and that's in. And at this time, we're going to do an anesthesia timeout. So I'm making sure that all my vital signs look great. I have good waveforms. Nothing's disconnected. Um, his end title O2 is above 80. I have the correct patient. We have the correct procedure that we're doing. Um, my oxygen is on. My vaporizers are off. I'm still in bag mode and my APL is open. So at this point, I feel comfortable to uh, do my induction. So I'm going to push my propyl ball. My propyl ball is pushed. And at this point, we should be seeing his face relax. We might have a dip and end title on. Once that face relaxed, we're gonna do some noxious stimuli. Hey, Joe, are you awake? You with us? No, okay, I'm gonna stimulate a lash reflux. And at this point, if he does not have any reflux, I'm gonna protect him and tape his eyes. Eyes are taped. And at this point, I'm going to attempt to ventilate. So I'm gonna put my AK on the 20. Give him a good head tilt, chin lift, and we're gonna ventilate. And I can see chest rise and fall. I see misting in the mask, and I have a good end title. If I didn't have any of those, I would attempt to put no PA in and try and ventilate again, and hopefully that would work. And at this point, I've established that I can ventilate, so I feel comfortable pushing my paralytic. But before I do that, I'm just gonna move my EQ tube over and my blade over. And then you can edit it because I don't have gloves on. <laughs> oh, boof. I have my gloves on. Poof. All of a sudden. Okay. Fast transition. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we're still ventilating. We're doing great. His vital signs are good. His O2 is above 80. And O2. And I'm pushing my rock. Rock. And we're going to wait. And we're just ventilating still. We're gonna wait that 60 to 90 seconds for Rocky Round One. And it's been 60 to 90 seconds, so we're gonna intubate. And I am going to scissor the mouth. Put my lab lamp down. I visualize the epiglottis. I'm lifting the epiglottis, and I have a grade two A view. And Tube is past the cores. Thank you. Perfect. And we're going to import the cuff. Yeah. Oh, we can have to do some figure out. We'll go. Oh. Okay. And we're on the folder right here. We're still in bag mode. And we're going to check placement. So bilateral breath sounds positive, negative epigastric. After a couple of breaths, I should have a good end tidal waveform. And I'm looking for misting in the tube as well. So at this point, I'm going to switch to vent mode. I'm going to open my APL valve. I'm going to turn my flows down to two liters. And I'm going to turn my SIBO on. Cycling back to my, my, uh, my monitors. I'm going to cycle the blood pressure. And then I'm looking at my vent to make sure that the patient's getting adequate volumes, their pressures aren't too high, and my flows, my graphs looks good. And at this point, then I take. Perfect. And then I'd cycle back. <laughs> 